G'day, Josh here from The Streaming Guys, and today we're going to be talking about the Strata app developed by LivePad. You can check them out at livepad.co.uk. I noticed on the forums there are quite a few questions on how exactly to set it up, so today we're going to give you a quick overview on how to do that. There are three versions of the Strata app. There is Strata Lite, Strata View, and Strata Pro. Strata Pro is only available on the iPad, whereas uh, Strata View and Strata Lite are available on any iOS device. So your first step is to find a router that you can use wirelessly with this workflow. Today I've tested two home internet routers and one more professional Draytech router. The more professional one is a Draytech Vigafly 210 and I have found personally that the connection would drop out uh, and you would have to rejoin the network to use this particular app. The two more successful routers uh, is this home internet Telstra uh, Technicolor router and a Netcom wireless router. So the next step is to make sure all your cables are connected correctly. First up, we'll connect the USB cable from the computer directly to the ATEM switcher. From the ATEM, you'll connect an Ethernet cable to your router, and then from your router to your computer. And today I'm using a Ethernet to Thunderbolt connector for my Mac. Now that the physical network is set up, the first thing you'll want to do is to check that the ATEM is speaking to your computer via the router. Launch ATEM Setup, navigate to this menu, and locate your settings here. You can either copy these settings or you can choose to set it up your own way but everything needs to be within the range. Launch your network settings, navigate to the correct port, and make sure your gateway is the same, your subnet mask is the same, and your IP address is within the same range. Once your network has been set up, head over to ATEM Software Control preferences and then make sure your IP address matches the IP address in the setup window. You should be able to communicate with your software control here and this is the first step to getting your wireless network set up. The next step is to make sure the router is within the same range as all of your network here. So we'll connect to the ATEM network this network I've renamed as to differentiate between my networks when on a job. So I'll hit ATEM and then head over to your favorite browser and type in the default network address of your router. Once you've logged in, type in your credentials, which is usually admin admin or admin password and then navigate over to DHCP server or something similar. The important thing here is to make sure the IP address is in the same range. So IE 192.168.1.27 and my ATEM switcher is 192.168.1.23. Once this has been saved, exit out and you should be on the way. Once this has been done, head to settings and join the Wi-Fi network you have created. You can then use a program like iNet Tools or any other ping service to make sure everything is operating correctly. So go to ping and then I would first check the router is connected which is 192.168.1.27 and as you can see it's communicating directly 
And then the next step would be to check that it's communicating with your ATEM, which is 192.168.1.23. And as you can see, it is communicating. To give you an example of what it looks like when it doesn't communicate, I'll just put in a different address. And as you can see, there is no response from anything. Now that that's all communicating, you can either use Strata View or Strata Lite to check that you are indeed connected. And here you can see you can type in 192.168.1.23 and press done. And then you can switch as you like. As you can see, it's relatively easy to set up your ATEM production switcher on a network and use the Strata app to control your switcher wirelessly. The other advantages of setting up this network is you can then disconnect your laptop from the switcher uh, and then control it remotely. Uh, you can also give your camera operators the Strata View app and then the app acts as a tally light. All of the Blackmagic switches and products are available through the streaming guys. Just head to thestreamingguys.com.au. If you have any questions or comments or would like to see any other videos made, type it in the comments section below the player. Thanks for joining me.